Hello my great sons, Dream G here, and I said I'd do talk about some failed pilot since the Deadpool movie is going to be released this week in the time it So I thought I'd talk about some failed comic book TV shows. Yes. And I forgot about one on the first take. So, pretty much. This one is, the first one up is Youngblood, which, which is a comic made by Image Comics. The cartoon was originally going to air on Fox Kids, which is a now defunct thing, which also became Jedi X and now Disney XD. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, Fox Kids actually really knew their Marvel scriptivity. This led to the young boy. Fun fact, I actually own the original comic. I actually own its very first issue. Yeah. I have the comic books. I also own like a Savage Dragon comic. Which I might show in a future video. Yeah. Yeah. But don't worry. Image is actually big with the live action. You might know about the live action stuff, like like the movie Spawn, the TV show Witchblade, and The Walking Dead. Okay, technically Witchblade is is done by technically Witchblade is done by Top Cow, a imprint of Image, and and Walking Dead is done by Scabba, another imprint of Image. So so pretty much. So pretty much, they I guess they were too young to get the TV show. Next up is the Amazing Squirrel Head, which was made by Doc, which was which was made by Hellboy Creator from Mike Manola. The pilot was actually originally going to be on the Sci-Fi Channel, but the uh, Sci-Fi Channel turned down because Sci-Fi Channel can't afford like a big budget anime series. Yeah, so. That's pretty much it. And Squirrel and Head is a uh, soldier of Lincoln, and one of the villains is a zombie. Yes. So. So pretty much. Pretty much it. What the Squirrel and Head? I guess Sci-Fi screwed this on. Screw this. Screw this head. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, I guess Sci-Fi said screw you to the screw to the amazing screw head. Next up for it is the Deadpool cartoon made by Titmouse. Yeah, there are two versions: the Rackle Access one and the Titmouse one. Get picked up. Rackle Access one got picked up, but the Deadpool one wasn't picked up. So the Titmouse one was was in the style of Black Dynamite. <laughs> That's pretty much likely. Yeah, but I think the show got canceled. Unfortunately, it's getting canceled because... Because, unfortunately, maybe because of the leaked footage. So, that's pretty much it. And, there's also... Proud of the X... Now, next up is Proud of the X-Men. Uh, it was a pilot for... It was actually a pilot to be made, unlike the 90s one. So, it was made in 1989 or 88. Which had some errors. It sent around Kitty Pride. And... And the biggest push around because 80s, because Marvel in the 80s, Wolverine portrayed Australian. Well, mate, the storm of the Barbie. Okay, I'll stop. Yeah, but it didn't fail, actually. Both TV show, yeah, but... It did look to the X-Men toy line and the X-Men arcade game. It was... The money was actually... Was originally supposed to be made for a 13 and final episode for a Robocop cartoon. Yes. So... Let's end it off. With the amazing screw and head. To explain to it, let's to explain the comic. Yes, since it's very obscure. To explain to it, there's perfect you, you need to kill someone. So, you go to the defending machine, you put a quarter in it, 
and in which has the Scud robot in it. And you give him to implant the assassinate face, and only this subject was in. When the job is done, the Scud robot will just self destruct. But this Scud robot doesn't want it to destruct. So, so he should enough to put on life support to pay for the possible bills he does other assassination jobs. Get that? Probably didn't. So, to. Yeah. Yeah, so the pilot was actually originally for MTV. It was in CGI, kind of the style of the CGI Spider Man cartoon based on the same Raimi film. So. Why did it fail? Well, MDB in 2002, a Spider-Man cartoon failed, failed in ratings, so why would they trust a, a big meme like Spider-Man can? So, mm -hmm. why would they trust your character like Scud? Well, pretty much that. If you're wondering, that sounds like something to Mr. Meeseeks. That's because one of the writers was Dan Harmon. Who wrote some issues of the Scud comics, but but Scud is Rob Strauss' creation, and you might if you watch the Avengers of Doctor Martin, you might have heard about the about the weird heard about that Scud's real meme, which I might not put in the comments. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all for now. Don't forget to slash the button, come on, extension, and goodbye.